I'm ready. What up? Let's get to it. <laughs> so I'm going to talk about two things today, man. Well, two individuals, huh? Kyrie Jackson, Dwight McLaughlin, man, UDFA. Kyrie Jackson, fourth round draft pick. Two cornerbacks. First off, Kyrie Jackson, dog. Yeah, let me holla at you, big dog. I just want to say this. How bad do you want it, homie? <laughs> yeah, how bad do you want it, homie? Huh? Yeah, you've been on your journey, huh? Was a rough road, been some ups and downs on your journey, but now you at the pinnacle, or some say the pinnacle, your dream, right? Able to live your dream out. So how bad do you want it, Kyrie Jackson? Heavy. I must know. I got to know, homeboy. Huh? Now your first real interview, you kind of gave your background. You was just, you was ready to give up football, big dog. Remember that, homie? <laughs> Remember that? Or you, or you forgot, dog? Yeah. He was working, right? Working working at a grocery store, et cetera, et cetera. Ready to give up football, homie. Told your mom you might be done with football, dog. Huh? <clears throat> stacking the meats, right? You was stacking and packing the meats, homeboy. Ready to give up on your dream. Ready to give in, dog. So my question for you is, big dog, are you ready for the challenge, homie? Are you ready to step up? Are you mentally prepared, homie? That's going to be the key with you, big dog. That's going to be the key with you, big dog, is you going to step up and play football, homie. Are you ready for the task at hand? Are you mentally prepared, dog? Huh? Can you focus? Can you zone in? Yeah, that's the question for you, big dog. Can you focus? Can you zone in, homie? Where your mental fortitude out, huh? You remember the tough days? You remember the struggle, the journey, dog? Huh? The doubters, the naysayers? Yeah, you you know, you started at Bama, right? Well, Juco, Bama, etc. Got in some trouble? Have you matured, homie? How bad do you want it? What do it mean to you, huh? Huh? Is it bigger than you? What's your why, dog? How bad do you want it, Kyrie Jackson? That's what's going to separate you. You got all the attributes, all the physical attributes, dog. 6364, 195, 4540. Huh? Can you put it all together, Kyrie Jackson, huh? Many doubted you, dog. Remember, yeah, like I say, you came from Bama, homie, huh? Came from Bama, you really wasn't focused, you really wasn't zoned in, because really, you should have balled out at Bama, homie, yeah. You should have put up nice numbers at Bama, dog. You should have finished your college career at Bama, but it's all good, man. You know, it's different roads in the journey, dog. How you how you going to finish, though, big dog? That's the big question. How you going to finish, big dog? Heavy, huh? Like I say, you 6'4", 6'3", 195, no excuses. Long, big cornerback, huh? Prototype cornerback. You got no reason to fail, dog. And you working with Brian Flores? B. Flo? <laughs> you under his wing, homie? You know he saw something in you. You saw him in the conference room, huh? In the draft room. So you know the Vikings believe in you, but do you believe in yourself, dog? Do you believe in yourself, dog? Huh? You got the big head? You going to get complacent? Huh? You going to get complacent or you going to ball out and put the work in, huh? You going to ball out and put the work in, Kyrie Jackson? Huh? A lot of people say you might be a steal, but you got to prove it. You got to earn it, homie. Hmm? Nothing given, right? You going to come in and take spots? I'm asking, dog. <laughs> I, I, I want to know. Inquiring minds want to know, dog. You going to come in and take spots? Hold it down? Hmm? Earn your position, homie? What does it mean to you? Because at the end of the day, you can have all the talent in the world, all the talent, dog, all the physical attributes, etc., etc., if you ain't got it, if you ain't ready, dog, if you ain't focused in, you don't put the bullshit to the side, homie, you're getting in trouble off the field, you're doing stupid stuff to affect your career in a negative way, it's on you, homie. Mm, yeah, it's on you. So don't forget, Kyrie Jackson, working at that grocery store, homie, huh? Stacking and packing them meats, homie. Hmm? Remember that? Remember, you almost said F your dream, dog. You almost said F your dream, dog. Almost gave it all up. You almost gave in, homie. Hmm? Negative thoughts to the doubters. People telling you, give up, quit, give in, dog. <laughs> huh? Huh, dog? But a team took a chance on you, dog. A team believed in you, homie. The Vikings said, hey, this guy looks like he could be some, dog. So is you ready to work? Is you ready to put the work in? Learn the playbook. Learn your position, dog. Improve your weaknesses, dog, and improve your shrimps, homie. Huh? 
That's the big question, Kyrie Jackson. All eyes on you, dog. No doubt in my mind you could be an elite corner, but you got to go handle the business, dog. You got to go handle the business, dog. That's just what it is. That's it, dog. <laughs> What you going to do, Kyrie Jackson? That's my question to Kyrie Jackson, dog. Period, bottom line. Huh? It's on you to prove it, dog. What do it mean to you who you do it for, man? Next up, man, the Vikings might have got a steal. <laughs> you know, some UDFAs, we know it's about two or three UDFAs. Who, who could definitely be steals, dog. Definitely could be some Ivan Pace Juniors at different positions, dog. Once again, shout out Quazy. They got to pan out. They got to prove it. But the White McLaughlin, <laughs> hope, I say, hope I said his name right, but from Arkansas, homie. Arkansas. Seen him play against Bama a couple times, man. I got to say I'm shocked. I'm really shocked this man wasn't drafted. Oh, yeah. I'm really shocked this dude wasn't drafted, homie. You talk about big body 6'2". What is he, 190-something solid speed? Then you turn on the tape, what? <laughs> you put that tape on, that eye test, dog? This dude flashed all game, huh? Flashed against uh, times he played Bama. Flashed against the best competition, the LSU, the Floridas. Going up against Jaden Daniels, getting picks, interceptions, huh? Not too many weaknesses, dog, but I'm surprised that he did not get drafted. Now, I don't know. I don't know everything about him. Didn't do, you know, a whole lot of in-depth research. But I'm talking about as a player. I don't know if he just mentally not focused, not zoned in. Things off the field, which a lot of times that happens. But if he comes in prepared and ready, similar to Kyrie Jackson, if he comes in zoned in, ready to earn and work, dog, huh? And it means something to him. Got a chip on his shoulder. He got all the physical attributes on him. And you talk about football players, football players, he is definitely that, man. You just put on the tape, it flashed. You put on the tape, he flashes, dog. Look like he should have been a first round draft pick. Second round at the least, dog. Period, bottom line. No capping, no just yapping on me. <laughs> no cap. I'm talking about you put that film on. You sit back and watch that film. Watch how he flashed, how he's all over the field. Then he got the long arms, huh? Long arms, long wingspan, <laughs> nice vertical dog. All the numbers match up, homie. And then he can play football. Dude, dude's an animal on the field, man. Man-to-man -man corners. Talk about potential lockdown corner. Potential lockdown corner, dog. Huh? Then he, if he can improve in zone, and once again, I got to bring up, you know, Brian Flores in the mix. You know how, how he can bring the best out of players. Saw it last year with the defense, how we turned the defense around with lack of personnel, homie. But I'm telling you this here. I said it first here, big school, man. If that dude is focused and zoned in, development, all that goes the right way, goes as planned. You're talking about another potential day one starter. If not a starter, year one contributor, dog. <laughs> and them cornerbacks, them vet, veteran quarterbacks, uh, Caleb Evans, Andrew Booth, Makai Blackman, Byron Murphy, they better be ready to uh, compete. <laughs> they better be ready to compete, dog, at a high level. Because them, just them two boys alone, the White McLaughlin, Kyrie Jackson, they size alone give them opportunity to bat, dog. <laughs> Heavy. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> and I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it won't be no favoritism. I'm sure the best man will be on the field, dog. Rookie or not, et cetera, et cetera. With Brian Flores, we see how Brian Flores rock. Alvin Pace Jr. got him up in there. Man, put the best man on the field. But them veterans, boy, them veterans, they better be ready. They better be prepared to step up and compete, homie. Uh-huh. Step up and compete, homie. But Dwight McLaughlin, whoo Woo, boy. You know, he can bulk up a little bit. I don't, I'm not even sure how, you know, what his weaknesses are. But, uh, you know, if I'm looking at the film, I could assume he may need to get better in the run game. You know, get more physical. But his cover skills, ball hawking ability, the ball in the air, he getting to it, reading the field zone and man. What? Then once the game slows down for him, bro, hmm? once he starts really learning the NFL game, understanding his assignments and doing them well, or the sky's the limit. Matter of fact, it's no limit for that boy, homie. Huh? But the Vikings damn near really might have got a steal of this draft, huh? Now, I understand it's all up in the air. He got to prove it at the end of the day. But what I've seen, his size, whoo, 
man, great pickup, great signing. UDFAs in the building. Don't sleep on them UDFAs, homie. <laughs> Let me know how you feel about it, man. You agree or disagree, dog. How you feel about Kyrie Jackson and the White McLaughlin, man. Feedback is much appreciated, man. Follow them comments up. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm on and rock and roll. It takes less than one second, man. Support the grind. Support the channel. Big score here. Score bikes forever. Win, lose, or draw, man. Heavy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs>